Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Now, something has come to my attention based on a study that was released last Thursday for um, the Holocaust Remembrance Day. And a very tragic, it's a very tragic study that was released. And uh, CBS News does a pretty good job of, of discussing what was in this, in this study. But apparently millennials and a lot of other Americans, but mostly millennials, don't seem to understand what the Holocaust was or that it even happened. And for those that actually do think it happened, they think a very small number in comparison to the total were killed if you know for the ones that actually do believe that it's somewhere around 2 million as opposed to the 6 million that are reportedly to have uh, been murdered by the Nazi regime and their sympathizers. This is pathetic. One-fifth, 22% of U.S. millennials say they haven't heard of or aren't sure if they've heard of the Holocaust. That's a lot of kids skipping history class. And I don't know if that's a failure of our educational system, a failure of parenting, or people just not giving two shits. That goes on to say, 41% of, of millennials believe that only believe only 2 million Jews or fewer were killed during the Holocaust, even though it's been widely reported that 6 million Jews were killed in World War II. And it goes to go, continues on from there and goes on and on. And the next little bit here that I'm going to share with you shows you exactly why a Justin Bieber would have done what he did at the Auschwitz um, concentration camp. Where lots of, lots of Jewish people died. You know, why he was so disrespectful in the memory book and things like that. And so disrespectful while he was there. You know, it, this explains it right here. Two-thirds of millennials could not even identify what Auschwitz was. They didn't even know what it was. These kids don't even know some of the most key facts in the history of this world. This right here is why people like Hitler always return. This is why history always repeats itself. People continually forget or they don't care or they're not taught. It's a sad state of affairs when people aren't being taught the things they need to be taught. I have a few history, a few teachers that do history and government classes over on Facebook. And I have not seen one of them say they don't cover this topic. Now, I'm sure there's some people out there that might not cover this topic because they're scared to offend somebody. Well, you know what? We, you need to offend people sometimes. Because if not, they grow up thinking everything is just perfect. That nothing could go wrong ever in their lives. That nothing could go wrong in the world. And at the end of the day, that is what happens here. It makes me sick to think that there are parents out there that aren't making sure their kids are learning anything. It makes, me, it makes me sick to think that teachers might not be teaching the kids about what actually happened during World War II. Millions of people were murdered simply because they weren't the right race or the right religion or whatever. Millions were, and that's just talking about the Jewish people that the Nazis killed. Six million. We're not, ta we're not even talking about, you know, those people that were born disabled or became disabled or became too old to be, to be a help for society. We're not even talking about those people.
We're not talking about women who were forced to bear children and, and then killed when they couldn't produce enough. No, we're just talking about the Holocaust itself and the 6 million Jewish people that were murdered under the Nazi regime. People keep forgetting what happened. I mean, come on. In parts of Asia, they don't even allow what happened to be taught. You've got parts of Asia where they believe Hitler is a great guy. Where he was a great person. A great leader. Not the coward and piece of shit that he was. Let's get back to some of the facts, shall we? Or some of the facts of this thing. A majority of Americans adult, uh, uh, adults surveyed, um, roughly 70%, agreed that fewer people seem to care about the Holocaust as much as they used to. And sadly, 58% of Americans do believe something like this could happen again. And why could this happen again? Because millennials have no clue, no clue what could be happening. How is it possible? They have no clue that it happened, or they don't care that it happened, or they're told they believe that they believe things they've read online, or were told by their by, by by different bigots across the country and the world, telling them that not very many people died in comparison to the total number. But when I hear the thought though that they're like, oh, just two million died. That's still 2 million people murdered in cold blood for being the wrong religion, the wrong race, the wrong the wrong skin type, the wrong hair color. And that's okay? Hell no, it's not okay. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me that they don't have any that these kids don't have any knowledge of what took place in our past in this world. It may it makes me sick to my stomach to know that these kids have no clue what happened. And you know, I'll admit that when before I got to college, my some of my knowledge on what happened was, was not there. I didn't have a lot of it. But I knew that you know some some 5 or 6 million people were murdered. I knew what concentration camps were. I knew what happened at them. Even if I couldn't give you the name of each of them individually, I could tell you what happened at them. I could tell you what the Nazis were doing coming out of high school. Now, when I got to college, I learned a lot more. And then I took a, uh, then I took a class of German, of the German language, and I learned a lot about what happened and how, you know, and how it led to what, how things happened that led to the Jewish people being murdered like they were and hunted down like they were just animals or something. So let me make it very clear. We have got to quit this worrying about people being offended. If there's a teacher out there who isn't teaching what happened at the, during the Holocaust because they're scared they're going to offend somebody or hurt somebody's feelings, well, get over it. Sometimes you have to hurt people's feelings to get the facts through. Sometimes the truth hurts. And I don't want I don't care if I if I offend somebody's delicate sensitivities when it comes to the, something like this. This makes me sick. The fact though is that those 58% of Americans that say this could happen again are very accurate. It very much could happen again, and it could happen right here in this country. Look how easily people were swayed by a bigot Look how easily they were swayed by a man that said, Ooh, your problem is you don't hate Mexicans. Look how easy America was swayed by a man who basically acts as if gay people are, 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 are a lesser. Look how easy we fell for that. Over 39% of Americans don't realize that Hitler was democratically elected. 
He didn't do anything illegal in in the country. He was democratically elected by the people and then became a monster. Why? For much the same reasons Donald Trump became president of the United States. People didn't believe some of the stuff he was saying. They, they thought, oh, well, that's just what he, his views, he's not going to, he wouldn't actually do that. You know, Donald Trump said he'd be a, 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 a caretaker of the LGBT community. The first thing he, one of the first things he does in office, starts going after LGBT Americans. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to say Donald Trump is Hitler. Because nobody that I have seen, in my, at least in modern times, is as bad as Hitler. Donald Trump may do things, but I don't think he would ever go to the extent, that kind of extent. I don't think you're going to see him rounding people up and murdering them for being who they are. I don't think that's going to happen. But we need to be teaching people because... We see how quickly and easily Americans were swayed by the lies of Donald Trump. We see it. It's here every day. To remind, we're reminded every single day how easily people can be swayed to believe in the worst possible things in the world. People, people are easily swayed. Americans can be swayed on by fear very easily. And it's not just an American thing. When times get tough, things are going bad, everyone looks for a scapegoat. It doesn't matter their nationality, because it's human nature. Humans naturally look for something to blame. We naturally look for something to blame every single time. And it's just natural. But we need to stop trying to blame races and ethnicities, and nationalities for our problems. And if we don't teach these millennials what's been going on, and what's happening, and you know what has happened in the past, we're never going to learn anything in this country. Never. And it's going to repeat itself, and it'll probably repeat itself right here. So, to the millennials out there, get a history book. Read it. You know, pick up your cell phone. Search the Holocaust. You'll find lots of information on it. My suggestion is to make sure you're getting it from some legit sources. Because you got people out there that completely deny the Holocaust ever existed. And the fact is, it did. Millions displaced. Five or six million, you know, right around six million people murdered. Many of them buried in mass graves after being gassed. All sorts of experiments were done on the Jewish people that were in those concentration camps. All in the name of eugenics. All in the name of trying to make a superior race. And the one thing is, there's no such thing as one superior race. It doesn't exist. There's no such thing. We're all a little bit of something. Very few races are pure. Very few people are pure. And there's a good reason for that. If everybody was the same, if everybody had the same genes, and everybody passed on the same exact genes all the time, our species would be doomed. We would die out. We'd become weak. And the hum human race would die. That is a fact. We need the genes from other groups of people. And nobody's pure. You know, almost, I don't know if hardly anybody. I'm sure there are some, some, some groups that are very, you know, very pure to their, to their ethnicity or their race. But I, get if you, I guarantee if you look into a lot of their DNA, they're not all 100% of anything. And so, millennials need to learn. We've got to teach them. We've got to teach the kids that are younger than them even, 
Because if the millennials don't know much, the people behind them aren't going to know a damn thing about this. We have got to let them know. So it makes me sad to see this. I cannot believe that that many people don't know what happened during World War II, what the Nazi regime did. And it's just disgusting. That It just disgusts me that people would be like that, that they wouldn't even bother to think or bother to read or bother to go to history class. As has been said many times before, if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And sadly, this world is forgetting its history. And sadly, I believe at some point, a new Hitler will arrive. I don't believe that person to be Donald Trump. I do believe it'll happen again, probably in my lifetime. And that's pretty sad considering I don't, I'm not quite sure how long that is. So, if you're out there and you're coming across this video, find, do some research. Read a history book. You know, go through and look at the history of what led up to World War II. What happened during and after. That way you won't be in the dark. You'll know what happened. And you won't have to worry about looking like a complete idiot when some guy or woman even decides they want to they want to stoke your fears and it ends up killing millions of people people we've got to do better this is wrong it's terrible that we're i mean this has got to be taught in our schools if for some reason it's not being taught anymore it needs to be there are a number of things that need to be taught in our schools and the Holocaust is one of them. So, I, I really don't know what else to say. I wasn't going to put a video out like this today. It wasn't something I was thinking of. It wasn't something I was planning on. But it appears that it's necessary. So, I will try to get a few more videos out to describe the history of what took place during, during the Nazi rule in Germany and during World War II to discuss more of the people and if you want to see what life was like, partly in the in the in places like Auschwitz and other concentration camps, pick up a, a copy of Di the Diary of Anne Frank. Not only is it very very boring to me, but it's very heart wrenching, especially if you read the full, unabridged, unedited version of the book. It is it's devastating what took place and what happened to these people. It's disgusting to think that people could do that to other human beings. It's disgusting to think that it could happen again. So please, before it's too late, American millennials, and millennials around the world even, read a book, learn some history. Don't let this happen again. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you down the road. This has been the Big Ranch Show.